Hi guys, if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 has been acting slow, lagging, freezing because of 100% high CPU usage for no reason, don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, I am going to show you the exact methods that actually fix high CPU usage. These are simple, safe and 100% effective steps that will boost your performance, improve FPS and make your PC feel brand new again. So grab your mouse, follow along and let's fix your PC the right way. The very first method to fix this issue is to set the best power plan. Go to your Windows search bar and type here. Choose a power plan and click the result at the top. Once it opens, you will see your current power plans. If you already have the high performance power plan listed, simply select it. If not, we will create a fresh power plan. Click on create a power plan. Here you will see the high performance option Select it. Now give this power plan a name, type high performance and click next. After that, click on create. Now you have successfully created and selected high performance power plan. Using the high performance power plan allows Windows to use your hardware at its full potential. It reduces lag, improves system responsiveness and can lower CPU usage because the system doesn't throttle performance. Now close this window and now follow the second step. Right click on the Windows taskbar and click on Task Manager. Once it opens, click on the CPU tab. You will now see all the apps at the top that are using the highest CPU. The first thing we will do here is simple. If you see any application running that you are not using and it's consuming a lot of CPU, just right click on that app and select end task. You can do this for all unnecessary applications that you are not actively using. Next, go to the startup apps tab. Here you will see a list of applications with their startup status set to enabled. These apps automatically start when you power on your computer, which slows down boot time and consumes CPU in the background even if you are not using them. So, disable all the startup apps that you don't want to load at startup. Select the app, right click on it and then click disable. Don't disable your antivirus, graphics drivers or essential driver services. This step instantly frees up CPU resources, speeds up boot time and prevents background apps from slowing down your PC, making your system smoother and more responsive. Now follow the third step. Go to your Windows search bar and type CMD. You will see command prompt at the top of the results. And select run as administrator. If it asks for permission, click yes. Once the command window opens, we are going to enter a few commands that will reduce CPU usage and fix corrupted drivers and system files. All the codes are also available in the video description or you can type them manually. Type the first command exactly as I say, chkdsk space, then forward slash f space forward slash r. Now hit enter. If it shows, chkdsk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Then type y, just the letter y and hit enter. It will run automatically the next time you restart your PC. Now type the second command here, sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Once that completes, type the final command, dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Then press enter and let the process complete. Running these commands repairs corrupted system files, fixes disk errors and restores damaged Windows components. This helps reduce random CPU spikes, improves system stability and makes your PC run faster and smoother. Now close the command prompt window and follow the fourth step. We will disable some unwanted services. Press Windows key plus R key together. The run window will open. Type services dot msc and click OK. Once the services window opens, we need to find a service named SYS main. To do that, press the S key on your keyboard to jump to the S section, then scroll a little until you find sysmain. When you see it, double click on it. Go to startup type and select disabled. Below that, you will see the service status. Click on stop to stop the service. Then click apply and then OK. Once that is done, we will find another service that starts with the letters C. Press the C key on your keyboard then look for connected user experiences and telemetry. Double click on it. Go to startup type and select disabled. Then click on stop to stop the running service. Finally, click apply and then OK. Disabling these services reduces unnecessary background activity, frees up system resources and lowers CPU and disk usage. This helps your PC run smoother, boot faster and prevents random high CPU spikes caused by Windows background services. Now close the services window and follow the fifth step. 
press Windows key plus R together and the run box will open. Type sysdm.cpl and click OK. You will now see the system properties window. Go to the advanced tab and under the performance section, click on settings. In the performance options window, select adjust for best performance. Now you have to manually enable a few important visual effects. Select the exact options that I'm selecting in the video. This step removes unnecessary animations and visual effects that slow down windows. By optimizing performance settings, your system becomes faster, more responsive and reduces overall CPU and RAM usages. After selecting, click apply and OK. And also click OK on system properties window. Now we have an optional step. If you are not using the Xbox game bar, you can disable it because it consumes a lot of memory in the background. Click on the Windows Start button, then Open Settings. Go to the Gaming section, click on Xbox Game Bar and simply turn the toggle off. Disabling Xbox Game Bar frees up background RAM, reduces CPU usage and improves overall performance, especially on low or mid-end PCs. Alright guys, these were some of the most effective and safe methods to fix high CPU usage on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you followed every step, your PC should now feel faster, smoother and way more responsive. If this video helped you, make sure to drop a like, share it with your friends and subscribe for more performance boosting tips. And if you want part 2 or have any issues, just comment below, I reply to everyone. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.